It's exactly the way I remember it. The last time Ron Riolfi remembers sitting in his 1968 Chevy Camaro, he was a 19-year-old student at the University of Akron. I worked at a grocery store. I sat in it uh, doing some homework and having my, my, my lunch while I was on my break. And, or went back in the store, came out about 20 minutes later, and it was gone. He and his father worked on the car for almost a year. He only drove it for two weeks before it was stolen. When it was first stolen, I drove around for, for weeks, maybe even months, just trying to find it. Months turned into years, and then last year, the phone rang. Police called and said that they found the car in Delaware, of all places, after 33 years. The state had traced the car's vehicle identification number back to Riolfi after someone tried to sell the car. And after a year of legally proving he was the rightful owner, Riolfi finally went to Delaware to reclaim his Camaro last week. And there was another shocker. The car, after 33 years, was in even better condition. Uh, but someone has improved really everything underneath the car, from the brakes to the engine. The car now sits in Rialfi's father's driveway, where it will stay. He says he has no plans on selling. After all, 33 years apart is long enough. In Canton, Shanice Dunning, Cleveland 19.